What is happening y'all? It's Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm and who I already missed that one that one that one day that it was low humidity and only high in the mid 80s. I'm already missing it <laughs> cuz it is that old nasty summer we've had this year is done creeping right back in y'all. Who Well, I want to go ahead and it give y'all update on the little puppy. As most of y'all know, a little puppy just randomly showed up here when we were actually putting in the wooden post on our farm. This is um, day, oh gosh, I don't even know what day it is now. We're getting close to a week now. And I would say that we have done everything. Anything you can think of, we have done our, to our best ability. Of, of trying to find the owners but y'all our location our lack of neighbors and how rural we are I'm you know you, you, you just go with your gut and your gut tells you that you know I just don't see how the little puppy could have wandered for miles over to our farm so regardless of all that the good news is is that we have found her an amazing home we, th we know everything's going to be fine but still we'll monitor this situation uh if the original owner shows up for some reason which as time goes on the the least likely that's probably going to happen well, we can handle that situation then too and all of it be monitored and handled correctly plus she has been to the vet. She got checked out. She's perfectly healthy. She's perfectly fine. They think she's around 12 weeks of age is what is what the vet is uh, estimating. She was not chipped, but her health and everything, she got a A-OK -okay there from the vet. We've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys on, on the situation. And a lot of y'all are wanting to know, well, we need to, or suggesting we need to put cameras up um some signage we actually do have cameras and signage on our property uh, we've never shown them because of obvious reasons we didn't want people to know exactly where our cameras were located um but we do plan on adding more cameras we do we have several now we are going to add more it would be it's impossible for us to cover our entire 40 acres absolutely impossible nothing was caught on camera on this um I mean, there's just roads after roads after roads. I mean, anybody could... I'm sure that if this animal was dumped here it was because these people obviously decided that they couldn't take care of it. And in, in their mind was, is that if it came here, then it would be taken care of. And I know that's their thinking. And is it right? No, it's not right. It's not right. But also, for me, I feel better that it happened here than this little puppy being dumped on one of these rural roads here that has nobody living on it. An old dirt road, and there's thousands of them, and that nobody would have found it. And it would have, you know, y'all know what happened. It would have starved to death or whatever. So, also, which leads me to the decision or explaining our decision as to why did we decide to rehome the puppy or find it a good home because number one alabama state law is that you cannot own no more than three full-time outside dogs and we're maxed out there with bandit what's up buddy and rocky and of course miss foxy now these three are guardian dogs these are our livestock guardian dogs and they're outside 24 7 protecting the entire farm so we're maxed out on that three dog situation you know what i mean and honestly i don't know how it's enforced i don't know how seriously it's enforced but by law we are maxed out with three of these outside dogs ain't that right baby girl yeah number two a lot of y'all may not know this but we already own 10 dogs on our farm which is little miss gidget right here we got mr arlo what's up buddy 
Yeah. Of course, we got Miss Holly, who y'all see quite regularly. And this beautiful old lady here, Dixie, who's our oldest dog by far. Yeah. How old is Dixie? She's 12. 12 years old. Oh, my gracious. Well, I said that Dixie may be the oldest dog here. I'm not for sure how old Dee Dee is, but she may be older than Dixie. I don't know. <laughs> of course, we got this big baby here. This is Bandit. And um, y'all, look how big he's gotten. And he's, we don't think he's six months yet. He is massive. Yeah. And of course, y'all all remember Rocky. Yeah. Bandit, this is Rocky's time. <laughs> Who's also a big, gentle giant. Yeah, he's not quite as big as Bandit is, but they're both big puppies. And there is Miss Foxy. Who is our great Pyrenees mix? Yeah, I know you're a sweetie. Yes, you are. And there is Miss Sunshine. Yeah. Oh, Sunny. Yeah. What's up, baby girl? Hmm. How you doing? Hmm. How you doing? Now, Sunny tends to stay in Brooke's mom's house, but technically, Sunny was one of our rescues many, many, many years ago. And we have Miss Jewel, <laughs> who also stays in Brooke's mom's house, <laughs> who's a rescue blue heater, healer. <laughs> What's up, girl? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, we don't show them all the time because there's a couple that stay in Brooke's mom's house or live with Brooke's mom. Our inside dogs stay inside all the time because they really can't be let out for various reasons. They'll run off. Uh, we, we have a couple that don't like the other animals, don't like the chickens and ducks, and they can may injure a chicken or duck. Um, they can run off and, and get injured. Uh, there's several reasons why the inside dogs don't come out. And if you're dog owners, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some dogs can be let out without a leash, and some dogs can't. It's just, just the type of dog they are. And then we have dogs like Holly, who are outside when we're outside, and who are inside when we're inside. And Holly sleeps inside, and that kind of thing. And Dee Dee's kind of the same way. But yes, we do have 10 dogs on our farm. Now, we'll say this, rehoming the little puppy was an extremely, extremely difficult decision. Extremely hard. Really hard on me because instantaneously, she became extremely attached to me. So the day that she left, it was tough. It was tough. It was tough, guys. It was. But knowing, knowing our situation here, knowing we're maxed out, um, and knowing where she went, I did. I, everything, everything worked out good. It really did. Um, I want I wanted to keep her. I'm not going to lie. But again, we just couldn't we we're, we're just we're just we're just maxed out when it comes to dogs. Um but it does ease me, you know, that now she's at a very very loving home. She's going to be an inside dog, believe it or not. And I hope you guys understand exactly why you know, we did what we did. I would like to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that reached out to us saying that y'all wanted to help. That y'all wanted to help. Um, either y'all wanted to give them a home or y'all knew that somebody that may be interested in it or help with food and vet bills, or any of that kind of stuff. And from the bottom, bottom of my heart, Brooke's heart, Mary Carl's heart, we thank you guys so, 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 so much. We really do. And if you are in our area, if you're in a situation, something's happened, you fell on hard times, any, anything, just bad luck's happen, and you no longer can take care of your pet, there are other options out there in our area. 
Uh, one, we do have a humane shelter here in our area. Number two, there's one uh, foster to adopt organization here locally that is doing a tremendous job. That's where we got um, Bramble from. And uh, it's called TNR and it's called Trap, Neuter, and Return. And don't let the name fool you. It is a foster to adopt. So they will, they're, they're taking in or they're finding stray animals or dumped or however you want to say it, animals. And then they're finding foster parents for them. And then the foster parents are raising them until they can find somebody to adopt them. And I, they're, they're very active in our area. And also uh, there's another one in uh, Dallas County, but they will travel if you know the situation arises or they have to and that is called sky hill um, rescue and uh, all three of these are just better options out there so reach out to one of these places uh, like I said there's other options out there these are three options that we know of the TNR and sky hill we both know are really great organizations and um, yeah there's 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 other options out there well guys, I, I, I know this isn't our typical video and I just knew I had to make a video about the little puppy because you guys were so invested and, and, and wanting to know what was going on and rightfully so. And I just didn't want to make our, one of our regular uh, vlogs or episodes that I normally make and just and throw a little snippet in there about the update on the puppy. Better off if I made just a video directly about what was going on and what decision we made and why we made it. And I just thought this would be, be the best way to, to get that across and let you guys know exactly what was going on here on our farm. And y'all, we love every one of y'all. Thank y'all so much for, for everything, everything, for watching the videos, just for the emails y'all send and the messages. Y'all are, are the best, the absolute best. And I hope you have the best day ever today. And as always, y'all be good. Thank you.